Tracking all the developments, I know something you're keeping an eye on, especially as it starts with our big number today. That number is 23,600. Now, that is a big deal because that's the average number of daily COVID-19 cases in the U.S. This week, that has more than doubled what it was in the past three weeks, just three weeks ago. The Delta variant, 4th of July gatherings, the stalled vaccination rates are all being uh, pointed to as reasons that we're seeing the spike right now. That's right. And uh, the director of the National Institutes of Health, we just heard from him. He blogged about just how much protection, speaking of vaccines, COVID-19 vaccines actually provide. What did he say? What do we know? So, you know what? He discusses a new study that I think is fascinating, and I'm glad he brought it to the forefront of everyone's attention. But basically, Basically, it provides a glimpse at an answer to a question that many have been asking for quite some time, which is how long does vaccine protection last? And I think that's really important because many during the majority of this pandemic, we've been talking about the benefit of antibodies. Everyone's kind of gotten a little bit of a degree in microbiology, um, but it's important to know that our immune system is a lot more elaborate and complex than just an antibody. For example, our lymph nodes help us tremendously. Um, and so the reason why I'm discussing this is because that's what the study focuses on lymph nodes. The way I like to think about about it is think of your antibodies as soldiers in combat and think of your lymph nodes as training camps where information is stored and you're kind of preparing for the future. So in this study, they took 14 healthy adults, all of whom were fully vaccinated and basically tested or biopsied their lymph nodes over a period of 15 weeks. And what they found was that at the end of the 15 week period, all 14 of them had signs of a long lasting cellular immune response. And this is important guys, because these types of cells can last for decades. Wow. So it provides a glimpse at an answer to a question that we've been kind of asking for a long time. It's a small study, but it does help us to understand a little bit about the benefits of the vaccines. And really important to know right now, these vaccines continue to be effective in preventing symptomatic cases of COVID-19 and its variants. So just with this study, what do they do next? I guess, what's the next step? You said this Great was a question. good sign here. But <laughs> Great question. Yeah. So we'll continue to follow what we call the breakthrough rate, which are the patients who do unfortunately get infected after vaccination because vaccines, although they're really good, they're not 100%. And then obviously we'll probably increase studies like this, but this is a difficult study to do because if you can imagine lymph node biopsies yeah. are not something that the everyday person is going to agree to. So we'll continue to follow all the numbers. All right, Dr. Yeah. Sutton, we appreciate you. And I think it's, I felt like I have a degree in microbiology. I just walk around like I have a degree <laughs> in microbiology. But That's you're right, point. we've all had to get smarter and learn so much. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And um, it's really, you're doing a good job. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Sutton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.